Hey, hey everybody, it's your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire. You know I'm going by the name of DJ Sharia Moore as well, so go on over to my page and check me out. Happy New Year. And so I wanted to talk about the quote that I posted earlier today and get back on rotation with that. So don't let the shortcuts end up taking you the long route, okay? So what does that mean? Um, in the caption, I gave a partial testimony of where I am as far as professionally and personally. And I'm, I'm big on boundaries and even in our professional lives, even though we're being paid to, to offer a service or whatever, there's still healthy boundaries that we have to establish so you won't consume too much of the wrong things every time you get a new vendor, every time you get a new um, referral, reference, uh, take on a new job test. You don't. You want to keep healthy boundaries because you don't want to get convoluted and weighed down with everything that comes with it and just start being tossed to and fro. That's not the thing to do. So I speak to a lot of people on a daily basis. Um, it's just the call on my life, right? I don't look for it. I don't um, call people like bugging people. I got jobs just like other people have jobs. But that is a part of my assignment and my job on earth. So um, what happens is I noticed, and for me, it was my takeaway. So I'm gonna put the onus back on me as per usual. My takeaway is I had consumed so many things and it became a cesspool of complaints. And if you are like me, which I presume you're here, you are, you put a lot of energy into, and effort into everything that you do. So over time, when you see that your efforts and your energy has been expended and you've given the toolkit on how to navigate the things that we're complaining about, navigate and resolve the conflict and understand the things that we've gone through to get to where we're going, navigate to understand how to co effectively communicate whatever, how to heal from trauma, how to heal from grief, whatever the thing is, right? When, when you've given so much of your sharpness, it starts to make you dull. And then when you realize it, you may not have enough tools in your kit to sharpen you, enough people to come back and make sure you're good. And so sometimes people complain about the same things over and over again. I know I've been there in a cycle of, I can't believe and this happening again and whoop, whoop, whoop. I think that's just cycles of life, right? But then people start to take shortcuts as the first option and not an alternative. That's their way of life. And then they wanna always complain about why it's always everyone else and nothing works for them. And these people did this to me. When you clearly violated a boundary, a rule or something, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just wanna bully your way through and be like when I get caught or when it's found out or when the smoke clears or when it's unveiled, we have to take it upon ourselves that this is what we choose to do. These are the decisions that we're making. And if you see A and if you see B, but you choose to go in between to C, D, and E, that's on you. If we cut out the complaining about stuff that we choose to do over and over and over again, and be grateful that you got another chance to get it right, maybe you'll see that those shortcuts aren't working for you the way you think they are, especially if you keep finding yourself in the same situation. I have become a sounding board and I feel like a dumping ground to repeated offenders. And no matter if they're loved ones or, or whether it's a paid service, I want everybody to win. And I want everybody to logically assess themselves, their choices, their decisions, the routes you take, but the people you choose to hang around, the things you choose to disregard and dismiss until you in a situation you can't get yourself out of. That's what makes complaining a way of life for some people because they always have a complaint about everything that happened at the end but don't want to tell you the shortcuts they took that didn't work when they was only supposed to go from A to B. Okay? So I had to step back and, and just Give people their time to really exercise their toolkit. Take things out of their toolkit and say, let me apply this to what I was taught. Let me apply this. It's time for activation. It's time to execute some things. It's time to stop talking like you're not equipped. And if you choose to live a shortcut life and act like you're not equipped or act like no one is sold into your life, then your life will be cut short with that act because that's exactly what it is. You haven't even tapped on real life. You haven't even tapped out of the illusion that oh, everything's done towards me. No, you ain't even tapped into your own reality and keeping it a hundred with yourself. And I had to scale back my services in regards to people 
that's ready, people that expect to not pay, people that are not serious, people that comes with another story just to gain attention. People do many things just to get your attention to, so they can get a roundabout way to come to complain. And it's not cool. And for me, it's not healthy to see someone in that vicious hamster wheel. For me, I'm not productive if we're not breaking ground and breaking through. I don't talk to talk. I'm not in your life because I need to know the same thing over and over, or I need to see that you're not advancing, that I need to see that you're not cultivating things, that I need to see that you're not having growth spurts as a result of us knowing each other, or as a result of me working with you, whatever capacity. Anything and anytime I'm asked something, I put it at the same level as if I'm getting it for myself. And you have to stop putting that energy and time and worth into others who don't even appreciate or value that level of dedication and commitment because they're not going to take the tools anyway. They're just going to set them to the side and talk like it and act like it, but they're just waiting to get to the next complaint so they won't have to activate anything. And for me, that's very serious. And it's sad because it's making people are living in a depressed state of mind and a state of um, bondage and a state of, of stagnation because they really haven't activated some things. Some things you don't even know, you can't even remember was given to you already so you could execute beyond your issue, but you just brush it off and got off the phone or, or walked away from the conversation and dismissed it because that's what you're accustomed to. That's what you're used to. It's compulsive. Um, it could become addictive. It could become a way of life. And then when people say, ah, I can't, mm, I can't, I can't fool with that. Um, I have to sever our business relationship. I have to sever our ties. Then it's an offense because now you want to catch up and hurry up and act like and talk like you got it all together. So then when you show that side of yourself, you've been wasting that person's time because if you had it all together, you could have did it a long time ago. What it is, is an act. It's just an act until you get the next ear to bend. And then they realize the same thing. You running in place. That's why the world is moving forward. And I just really want every person that is listening to this blog to take your own time and energy back, to take yourself serious, to recommit yourself to you. You don't have to wonder what it's going to do and how it's going to affect someone else. You have to look at, look at it like all that I've given, there should be some fruit to it. So when I need, when I have a drought, I can feast in what we've produced together and being in existence with one another, knowing one another, in relation with one another. If you draw back and you're in a drought and there is no one that you've poured into that have fruit to bear from that situation, then you need to reallocate your time, reallocate your efforts and walk away knowing that you've given the best version of yourself to that situation. If they want to starve themselves, it's your fault if you go hungry. Boom. This your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, H3, the Inspire. I'm back a little bit, you know, a little bit. Um, it's good to take breaks, man. I really don't like social media, but whatever. It's marketing. And I love to reach out to people. And I know it's laid heavy on my heart. And when I'm jolted like I was in my sleep about this, I know for a fact I have to release it. And I thank God that God gives me downtime, those spiritual sabbaticals. You take them however, whenever you want to, a fast, whatever you want to call it. Um, take it as often as needed. It's not, that's not a social decision. That's not a popular opinion. That's what you need to do, do it. Okay. <laughs> to stay healthy. So until next time, look out for a tighter schedule and more things rolling out. And when it's not, I'm good. You're great. And we're going to be powerful and mighty together. All right. All right. Talk to you soon. God's love and God's peace to you all.